Have you ever been driving on a desert highway and noticed that the trees far away from you appear to be moving slower than the street right next to you? Even though they're both moving away from you at the same speed? Well, you're not crazy. And in this video, I'll explain why you're not crazy and why it's useful for most animals to have two eyes instead of just one. Enjoy! So in order to answer our two questions, you need to understand that when you look around you, the only information that's coming into your eye is what color the light is and where it's coming from. So the big piece of information entering your eye is basically the angle, the direction of the light. And from that information, your brain will construct the whole image that you see. So the second thing that we need to understand is that how big an object is in your field of vision depends on the angle that it covers in your eye. So for example, this notebook, it appears to me this big and it's this big because of this angle. So to see it more visually, we can see here this is the eye and this object will cover this much of the visual field because it covers this angle. This object will cover this much of the visual field because it covers this angle. So now we can understand why a faraway object will appear to be smaller than a nearby object. And that's because the nearby object will cover a bigger angle in your visual field. So we can see that here. I have here an object and it covers this much of your visual field. If I move it far away, it will cover a smaller amount of your visual field and will appear to be smaller. So now we can return to our first question, why does a faraway object appear to be moving slower than a nearby object when you're driving in your car? So if you look here, you can see two objects, one is far away and one is nearby, and the eye represents you looking out of your car at the objects, and then you move a certain amount in some time, and now you're looking at the same objects, but the light from the objects is coming into your eyes at a different angle. And because they're coming into your eyes at a different angle, they will appear to be moving in your field of vision. So if you look here, you can see the two objects moving in your field of vision, and you can see clearly that the nearby object moves a bigger angle than the faraway object. So you are not crazy, and the nearby object is really moving a bigger amount than the faraway object. Now we can also answer our second question, which is why do most animals have two eyes instead of just one? The answer here again is angles. So when both your eyes are looking at the same thing, the light from that thing will be entering each eye at a different angle. And this difference in angle will be bigger the closer the object is. So from this information, your brain can know if something is nearby or far away. You can see the advantage of having two eyes rather than just one using this pen. I'm going to put this close to my eye and then move the second hand until it gets, until I think they're at the same level and try and I missed. If I try it with both eyes open, it's really easy and I can just put it in and I can tell the depth much more easier. If you're looking for more cool physics and biology videos, please check out my friend's channel here, Curious Minds. So special thanks to my niece Rula for asking me this question and if you guys have your own questions please ask them below and subscribe.